Hello everybody and welcome to another video review by the MXQ Project. In today's video we are looking at an Intel Mini PC stick. This is the Ace PC T5. It's got an Intel Cherry Trail processor, 2GB of RAM and it's running Windows 10 Home Edition. So today we're going to be giving a very brief overview of the product itself and then give a bit of a no-nonsense review on the performance and how it can perform various basic tasks. I hope you enjoy it, my name is Scott and you are watching another video by the MXQ Project. The Ace PC T5 is a very affordable Chinese mini PC stick. It's got an Intel Cherry Trail Z8350 processor in there, which is a little bit dated nowadays. It's only got 2GB of RAM as well, so I'm going to be very interested to see how it performs basic tasks on an operating system like Windows 10. It's also only got 2.4G Wi-Fi connectivity. There is no 5G Wi-Fi on this device, there is also no Ethernet. There is no Ethernet port on this device, which is a bit of a disappointment. It's very small and lightweight, it does feel nice to hold in your hand, but it does feel a bit flimsy, like it's made out of thin, cheap plastic. It's also a magnet for fingerprints, as you can see. Now, on here, we've got a HDMI output as well, to plug straight into the back of your TV on the side, but it also comes with an extender as well in the box, just in case it's a bit bulky to fit amongst your other cables. On the side here, we've got two USB ports, one of which is USB 3. We've also got a power switch, and we've got a micro USB port as well, which is where your power supply is going to plug into. On the other side, we have got a TF card reader for micro SD cards, and that is about it for this device. There's nothing much more to say. So what we're going to do now is power this thing up, and I'm going to show you it performing some basic tasks. So the Ace PC T5 unfortunately has been a bit of a letdown for me at least. Now I wasn't expecting the earth, I wasn't expecting it to perform amazingly well, especially for a device at that price. But I expected something a little bit better. It did seem very promising from when I first turned it on, but then things quickly went downhill from there and even performing basic tasks just became a bit of a slog and it just really slowed down and became very very laggy and it just wasn't a pleasant smooth experience. 
Now, we saw that the game in performance was very bad as well, and also the Antutu benchmark score was very, very low for a device of this type. I've reviewed plenty of devices of the same spec as this stick and got much better results on both the benchmarking tests and on the gameplay performance. So, unfortunately, if you want a device to play some games like Asphalt on, then unfortunately I would stay away from this device. Also, the internet connection was a bit of a letdown as well. I know it's only got 2.4G Wi-Fi, but I did expect a lot better than what it gave me. I've had cheap Android boxes that I've tested for internet speeds, and it's given me a lot better results than this Intel stick did, so that was a disappointment as well. And as a result of that, it meant streaming content from, say, YouTube or Netflix is just going to be very, very hard to do, especially if you want to stream 4K content. Now, this device is capable of outputting a 4K resolution display, and if you've got any local video files, it should play them just fine, but streaming from YouTube, Amazon or Netflix or Kodi or anything like that, it's just not going to happen unless you've got an amazing internet connection speed. But unfortunately, I do have a great internet connection speed, but I just wasn't getting the results that I wanted from it. The device itself actually gets very, very hot as well after a very short while of usage, which kind of slows things down even more. Now, a lot of these devices from China don't often come with cooling fans. They're normally fanless machines to make them silent, but this device does actually have a fan in it. We opened it up and had a look, and it's absolutely tiny and useless. It does nothing to cool down the system, and it just slows things down even more so not very impressive at all so you're not going to be able to get much use out of it without it overheating which is a great shame now i feel like we've given this a very negative review but unfortunately we do get products that just aren't up to par and we want to give a transparent honest review for them so overall i would say avoid this device and get something a little bit more substantial and if you're willing to part with a bit more extra cash there are some great windows tv boxes available out there on the internet so we've got some reviews of those as well so if you want to check out our channel we've got plenty of reviews of windows devices that we think are worth your time and more importantly your money but that brings us to the end of today's video and we really hope you've enjoyed it i've been scott and you have been watching the mxq project don't forget to come over to the website mxqproject.com there's loads of reviews and tutorials over there and we're on twitter now at mxq project don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you liked it and i shall see you in the next video